When I started, I wanted to be a photojournalist, which I became. And I wanted to travel a lot and make reportages for newspapers, for magazines. And I did that for a while. In the end, I started to feel a bit frustrated, not having enough time and energy left to realize my own projects. And at a certain point, that's more than 10 years ago, I said, stop, now I'm, I'm gonna do my own work and I'm, I'm gonna try to realize my own ideas. Sometimes I look for stories, like I just do research, mostly to do with people and what people do with their daily life. I always look for the best angle and just sit there and just wait. And then don't use a camera for one or two days and just make the people feel comfortable with you. Just slowly start taking pictures. Other things will appear that are much better just because the people feel comfortable with you now. You wake up with this urge to make things and you go to sleep with it and it keeps on milling in your head. For me it gives a lot of stress also because there are expectations, my own expectations but also expectations from others and you always have to renew yourself in order to make your work. With the Zeiss Photography Award, the international resonance of this award is, is, is more important. This award really stimulates you to do what you do, to continue working. You get good lenses and you get a budget for your next project. After winning the Zeiss Photography Award this year, there were a lot of requests coming in from international magazines, also the big magazines like Paris Match and Vanity Fair. So a lot of international attention all of a sudden. I realized that you actually need these kind of awards and sponsorships to actually survive as a photographer, especially from the beginning. It definitely helped me in having a status where people take me serious when I go somewhere to show my work. Suddenly, people knew who I was, and, oh, you were the group with the Indian trade story. And I was like, ooh, cool. I don't know you, but you know me. <laughs> you know, it's just like a really weird realizing that people know you because you did something that they think is cool. People trust me that I won't mess up when they send me there. They trust me that I can bring the images they need that explain the way the people live there. And that felt really good. That felt like success, you know? Like really, yeah, me. <laughs>